Hey folks, New Dad Sam back on the stream. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Game Design Friday. Happy Game Design Friday for this Friday. It's gonna be Tory Bash. Which you're kind of getting a little bit of a sense of what this is already as you look at the screen in front of you. Like the there seems there's definitely a violence theme going on here. The thing is What's really weird about this game is you can kind of see the way that they're moving around. Here, let's, uh... I wonder if I can get rid of this thing here. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well. Anyway, so here's how this goes. Basically, we've got two guys here. One of them is me, one of them is a computer control player right now. I'm the guy on the right here. No, I'm sorry, on the left here. And each one of these little these little balls here is a joint that can be manipulated. Basically a major muscle grouping, as well as the hands. So what you're supposed to do <laughs> is have a fighting game, only rather than pushing, you know, the button to make you punch, you actually have to move everything around in such a way as to make you punch. So yeah. Where to start? All right, well, let's see if we can make this guy do like a reasonable punch here. First of all, I'm going to tense all my muscles. And I'm going to... Um, wow, what? Okay. So what if I do this? So this whole thing is turn-based, essentially, and what you need to do... <laughs> oh man, here we go. Pow. Oh, no pow? Really? Oh my god. <laughs> this is the worst punch. This this is the worst punch, because it's not really even one here. There, I, I kicked him. Not sure exactly <laughs> what else I can do here. Um, I'll retract it. Oh, watch this. Watch this. What if I do this? I can like switch to the to a different kick. Nope, that's not going to happen. Um What the Hey Herman, what's going on, man? Um I think I want to What will happen if I do this? Not uh nothing really. Oh man, I think I failed. Yeah, this is weird. Okay, so if I, maybe, maybe I can get myself back up here. Let me push down on like that. Oh, look at this. Oh God. All right, so I think, <laughs> Not Fisher says this looks kind of offensive. What's going on, Not Fisher? Uh, this is Tory Bash, I'm not like, so, look at me go. Oh my god. What have I done? I don't even understand. So this is what happened. I don't... I don't even know how I did that. I kicked him. I think that means I win. How do you even do this? Okay, so... Weirdly, you can do a lot of really, really awesome looking martial arts moves with this if you know what you're doing. The problem is, you have to know what you're doing. <laughs> so, in, in a way, I'm kind of reminded, like, I, I don't think I'm out of line here to, to say that I'm kind of reminded of Quop. Um, oh, other way. Can I do this? So I could like beat my chest here. Here, watch this. Let's... Um, oh, what just happened? Oh, is that a... what the? Okay, <laughs> maybe I can swing around and hit him. Like, no, not like that. See, what I really, I, I really don't get this. Like, oh wait, no, I need these muscles. Those are the ones I need. And now if I flex this out, no, not that. How about, how about that one? No. Understanding what muscle groups do what is key. 
God damn it. All I want to do is have him extended his arm. So, basically what I'm doing here is... I can use the Z, X, and C buttons to kind of do a whole bunch of controls. Maybe I can maybe I can do something with this guy. Um, how about this? Or I'm gonna punch myself. If I unflex my elbow, oh, I do that. Um, I need leverage. Uh, let me let me let me get my leg back. And can I? No, nope. That's not hap That's not happening. Uh, it seems like a thing I could do, though. Here, let's. Not that. I need that at rest. No. Uh, um. Oh God. What have I done? What have I done? Back. Um. Other leg. Come up. No. Other. No. But oh God. <laughs> it's done. I don't even understand. All right. Somehow that was a draw. <laughs> this is what happened in a real in an instant replay. I did some kind of weird maneuver. <laughs> Just like it's almost like a ritualistic weird kind of like like some kind of weird salute that I just did to him. <laughs> and then everybody fell over. Oh, God. All right. So, let's actually take a look at what, what, what I can, like, what I can do if I actually do some moves I kind of more or less know how to do. So, by going like this and doing my ankles, I can kind of leap up in the air like this. And if I then take my... What? I don't understand why that did what it did, but okay. Tell you what, let's just. Uh... No, I've, I've just und I'm just I just undid everything. All right, so let's hop up. No, not like that. Um. What about this one? There. Okay, so what's going to happen... There. Oh, shit. I should have closed my... Should have actually grabbed my hands, though. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um... No, that's not... This isn't going to... This isn't going to work out. Okay, so now I've flexed up my... Uh... <laughs> I've flexed up my my legs, what if I unflex them along with my knees? I will kick him in both shins at the same time. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm only really good at symmetrical moves right now. Um, let's go and... Let's like see if I can like slap the ground. The head's gonna touch. I think that disqualifies me. Uh, what happens if I? Oh, look at this though. I can do some kind of weird flipping move, and and uh, if I rotate, if I do something with this. I I I, th oh, <laughs> I punched him oddly. <laughs> I don't recall doing that. I think I've actually grabbed him as well. What if I move this around? I can pull him down. Oh, this this is gonna look really strange on the replay. And <laughs> so this is what this looks like. <laughs> I pulled him down and <laughs> wrapped myself around him. In a, in a vague, homoerotic kind of way. Look at this. Like, I don't really intend to do much much of this stuff. But they happen nonetheless. 
I could save a replay of this. It seems maybe worthwhile. All right, so maybe let, let me try this again. I think what I can do is I can. No, I can. I'm gonna do this hop thing again because I remember that if I go like this. And I tell both of my hands to grab. I can anchor myself to this guy. And then... No, how does this work? Oh, I knew how to do this at one point. Tell you what, let's just cool it for a second. If I go like this, I'll basically kick him in the, in the shins there. And then I can, let's see, relax those guys again. Oh, watch this. I think if I, if I do this right, I think I can get him in like a like like a I don't even know what what the what the move of this is. And now if I flip both my legs up and just before the moment of impact, I let go with both my hands. Oh, look at this. Pile driver. <laughs> look, at, look at us go. And can I like extend my knees again? And hit him again? Oh wow! Double to the face. And extend again and kick him in the balls. Pow! Oh no, upper thighs. And no, not those two. We need. Uh, if I can just find those muscle groups. I don't think I'm going to, though. Oh, wait, there they are. Barely. Barely. And I'll headbutt him. No, I don't think I'll have enough, no, I don't think I have enough time. Flip it around and punch him. Oh, there we go. Okay, so check this out. Here's how this went. We pulled him down. Did a weird pile driver kind of kick. Kicked him again. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. All right. So, really, I'm just kind of beating up on a, on a paper doll here. So... Somehow, I'm not sure how I got to, how I got any damage. Maybe it was his. Uh, uh, oh no, I think it was his head versus my chest or something like that. Anyway, I got 115,000 arbitrary points, whatever those mean. Most of which came from that like that kick in the, in the beginning right there. All right, so let's see what like this. Let's see how this goes in like an actual multiplayer game. Uh, so let's go to beginner. All right, so basically what I have to do is I have to sit around and wait for these guys to figure it out. They can see that they have uh, 350 arbitrary time units, but then they have like some amount of time to make their selections and they're about to run out. So here's what happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> so what they did was they just both decided to fall over. <laughs> Good job, guys. So whoever the winner, like, Basically, somebody hit the ground first. I don't know what part of you needs to hit the ground to lose, but they, someone did. And so that so the, the person who won stayed in, and now he's versus the next guy in the queue. Uh, I'm, I have to wait for next match before I actually can do here. Let's see how these guys do. Oh, this guy might know what he's doing, although I'm... I'm unsure.
here. PY3 bajibit over there is the red guy. So now I have the properly oriented. See, right now I just kind of want to watch to see what... Oh, whoa. Um, I think... I think red's about to lose. Because I think if... I don't know which one actually... Like... It, it looked like a whole bunch of body parts touched the ground. I just don't... His head's about to, though, and I feel like that one that would definitely count. Oh, my. Okay, so this, like, looks looks like Blue finally did something. He, lip, he either leapt up, or, or maybe he didn't do anything. Weirdly, he somehow got a kick over like that. Look at this. This is the weirdest thing. Yeah, like, it's like the blue guy didn't really do anything. And he just kind of decided, he just kind of won. Alright, so now it is Killanotor versus Solomon 3. I'm next in line, so I'll be able to get a, ch I'll be get, get a shot at this. Now you can see... The uh, the silhouettes that keep on dropping, like this, is basically what will happen if they don't change anything. So you can, it, it kind of gives you a little bit of. Uh, um, oh wow, this looks uh, this looks dangerous. It gives you an, a little bit of an idea as to like what the effects of your moves will be, but it's still a little chaotic. What do they got? What do you got? Oh, someone got a grab in, and somehow, okay, so this guy's knees are bent back. God, this could be, this could go either way. Like, I haven't seen two people actually, uh, actually do, like, sensible things like this, but, like, you know, look at this. Okay, so Kill Killinator has 11,000 points for doing something. I guess he got a hit in somewhere. This guy's neck looks is like, like, like it looks like it's about to fly off of his body. Oh wow, look at this. Look at that. I don't think that... Uh, I don't think Killinator can do anything about this. I think he's about to get DQ'd despite having gotten the first hit. Wow, look at, the, look at all the leverage that Blue got. Look at that! He just fucking... <laughs> like, despite everything that Killinator wanted to do, Solomon just, like, pushed him out of the ring. Just sumo style. Alright, so here, here, here I am. Here I am. So we need to tense up. I'm the blue guy. We're going to do that thing I did earlier. Okay, I'm out of time. All right, I'm ready. Go ahead, do your worst. Do your worst. I have no idea what he's about to do. Oh, he got a kick in though. Eighteen thousand. Oh, I, I got I got more points than he did though. What the hell is that about? All right, let's try this. And what if I like try to pull my hands away while I'm grabbing his head? Maybe I'll like rip it in half. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, so now he has 25,000 points for some reason. I have no idea what I'm looking at. We're all wrapped up right now. Um, uh, yeah, who knows what's happening right now. I will flex my butt or something. Maybe I can pull him all the way over. 
Oh, look at this. I'm about to, I'm about to head dunk him outside of the lines. If I just... Uh, how can I get more leverage now? Um, like this. Probably. Oh, who disqualified? Oh, shit. I guess that was me. God damn it. I was trying to pull him out. And somehow he got like 36,000 weird points. Like, I assume they're measured for something or, for something or other. But, uh, like, I can't tell, like, what the points are going to be at all. Just, like, no clue whatsoever. Killinator says, Welcome to Tory Bash, the, resa the, the resailing game that makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so basically what you want to do in this game is you want to be able to uh, do as much damage as possible without touching, without touching the ground. But, like, this, uh, this simultaneous move action kind of thing... Like, since you don't really know what he's going to do, you really don't have any reason to pick one thing over the other. Like, once, th once things gets going into this, maybe you can start thinking about long-term strategy, but, like, you know, what do you do in this situation? You know, like, okay, now, it, now he's doing basically some kind of impossible version of the splits. Like, I don't even know what I would do here. You know, like they're like if they're gonna fall like this, maybe he can like bring up his knee and try to kick him, but like I don't like he has no leverage or anything like that, so who knows how that would work. I think he would have to like do a combination of these two joints. Oh, he's about to. He's about to. The momentum right now is with blue. I will just let it fall. There's nothing else. You're all wrapped up. There's nothing else that anyone can do. Just, just let it happen. Just let it happen. Yep. Blue wins because he got the most momentum off, which is probably what I'm going to have to start doing. Is I'm just going to grab him and like push him in. Just like, none of these people had any idea what happened, I think. Yep. Apparently there are ranks. You know, blue right now is unranked. He's a white belt. And then this guy is ranked a uh, hundred and... 12 millionth or something? No, 1.2 millionth. So let's see what their opening move is. Oh, this guy might actually have a punch coming in. He wants to. This He's he's about to get head clapped, though. I'm not sure what this was all about. If he can get, like, some more leverage with his leg here... Yeah, he got clapped for 30,000 points. Like this is his 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 arm is all wrapped up in a punch. If he can just get to happen, no, it's not gonna. Now it's now it's not reared up at all. So now he's like the best he can do is just like flail it sideways or something like that. This guy looks like he's about to deliver a kick to the head, though. If he can pull it off, I'll be really impressed. Nope. <laughs> he dropped his other leg. So now, so now he's just flailing in the air. Like, you know, like... So, heuristically, this game is extremely difficult. Because, like, there's just so many different moves you can make and, like, so many moves that will do a weird combination of stuff and, like, how are you supposed to know how any of it works? 
is this a very, very difficult kind of... Uh, uh, a very difficult, like, beginner's game where you don't really know what what works at all. Wow, look at that. Just grabbed his head and just wouldn't let go. So, like, eventually you start to get, like, you know, ideas about, you know, what to do. Like, head grabbing seems good. I'm surprised I didn't win with my head grab, but that's that's just me. So what I'm getting out of this game so far is that, like, this, this very clearly started out as an idea of fighting games aren't realistic enough. You know, like, we need to... You know, we need, like, if only we could have the freedom of mo of motion, because fighting games are actually about fighting, as opposed to, like, the real things that they're about, like, you know, like, uh, double-blind guessing games, and, you know, baiting people, and stuff like that, setting up traps for the opponent, you know, like, but, uh, it's like the, it's like the design of this game kind of took the fighting game genre literally, and, uh, thought that it would be cool to do something like this, which is kind of... Hmm. We'll be talking more about that as time goes on. I've got no idea what this what what anyone has planned right now. Like the neither of them are in any like remotely a good position at all. And I guess blue just won. There's just no way that red can, can recover from this. Like they would, like unless he like got his arm down. But like I doubt that he has the presence of mind for that. Yeah, look at that. There's just no way he. There's no way he could have done it. Like he just kind of got away and grabbed him. Yeah, most, most new players, from what I've seen, are just kind of like, flail everything about and see what you can get to connect. And uh, usually that ends up to their detriment. Also, you can zoom out really, really fucking far in this game. Okay, so he's going for the head clap. Seems sound. Come on, blue. Show us the head clap. Or, I'm sorry, red. Yep, he's got the head. I think he's got, I think he's grabbing. Somehow the other guy got his arms wrapped up around the other guy's arms because because red was too quick. So blue is now in that kind of weird position. <laughs> For whatever reason, the let, the, this guy's foot, when he connected, did damage to himself. Oh, wow. And there's blood everywhere. I don't even understand where most of it came from. I think Red considers this in the bag. Come on, Blue, let it happen. Your butt's about to hit the ground. And now all I have to do is lay on him. Don't worry, Red. You got it. <laughs> Just hit space. Oh, God. Pow. Okay. Now it's up to me. All right. So... I'm the blue guy, so here's what we'll do. Go for the head clap. And now at this point, at this point, I'll see if I can get like some extra leverage on him like this. 
No, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, I want forward leverage like this. All right, so now I've got him. And if I just... Yeah, just like that. Um, this leg needs to go back. No, no, that's what I want. Good enough. Got you in the in the shin. So now this, I have to plant a leg back now. No, this isn't gonna go well. And now if I can just reverse the whole thing. Oh, look at this! Look at this! I think I've got you. And just flip you all the way back around. Oh, I've, I've got this guy. No problem. Although, if he doesn't, if he, if he doesn't have enough room to fall back down, this could be, oh, whoa! Holy crap! All right. Oh, and that sends me back underneath. I just need to just keep on doing like, All right, I'll be able to kind of do a reverse split. Uh-oh. This leg needs to come back immediately, otherwise I lose. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, I think I just lost. Ah! I got him! I got him! Look at this, though. <laughs> Hey guys, I ranked up somewhat. All right, Steel Egg. So now I'm red. I'm telling you, the head grab is what you should do. I'm gonna clench my butt. That's what I got. If I go like this, no. I need to get my upward momentum going on. Sure. Oh, somehow I have not gotten his... Oh wait, somehow he, got, he was able to prevent my head clap. Uh, that doesn't go well for me, but, uh... And... If I go like this... Oh god, what has happened? What has happened? I'll be able to swing my legs back down underneath me. And I pelvic thrust him. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so let me let go of that hand. And I don't know what that leg is doing. <laughs> I, like I wonder if this guy realizes that like I've just got I've just got no clue right now. What happens if I go like that? I basically knee bash him. Pow. Oh, I've got the upper hand. Look at this. Um, I'm gonna let go of his head though. If possible, I'll retract my arm. Yes! I wish I could say that this is entirely planned. <laughs> oh, this is amazing, though. Those moves. All right. Can I defend my title for a third time? 
All right, so I'm the red guy again. We're going to do the thing I always do, which is go for the head grab, because it seems strong. Oh, <laughs> that's what we're both doing. Oh god, this is going to be painful <laughs> if he does what I think he's about to do. Of course, what I could do is I could just let go, but, like, he has to let go. Yeah, let's just let him, let's just see if we can let him fall right in his butt. And if I unhook both of those, no... I need to keep those keep those muscles strong. Yeah, let's un unhook both my hands. And right on your butt. Yes! Like, there's a little bit of interesting heuristic to this. Let's see here. So Walter Guys has a good thought. That maybe what I should do. Oh, here we did it again. So, I need leverage from both ankles. Keep those muscles strong. This is exactly what I did last game. And here comes a kick. So what I need to do... He's going to be really off balance. If I could just throw him off to his right... I don't know. I think we're just going to do a double kick here. No, switch those two. I'm probably going to let go of his hands next turn. And now he's now he's all crazy. Now he's all crazy. And I'll just public thrust into him, and it'll be good. Man, I am I am kicking ass. I'm not I'm not doing any damage to these guys, but I'm just like letting them kill themselves. Like they're so excited about like getting a big hit in, but like that's not what's gonna help them. All right, let's uh, we'll let go of both hands. And you can pretty much just kind of fall to your own death. Pow. This is how I decide to win, guys. Smoldergeist, if you could do me a favor and, uh, and get a server hosted, and uh, we'll do some viewer games so we can get, some, uh, get an idea of like what we, what we want to do about this. All right, here we go again. I'm still, still winning. See, they both, everybody knows what I'm about to do. I do the same thing every time, and anyone who pays attention knows how this goes. Yeah, he's, uh, oh, look at this. He's actually doing a weird, like, leg hook. All right, so let's get let's get like this. See, the only way I know how to do any of this is basically just by keeping myself symmetrical. And now I'll just pelvic thrust forward. My heuristics are improving, guys. 
So at this point, I'm going to let I'm going to go like that. Let go of that arm. Okay, we both let go. Weirdly. Oh, this guy seems to know what I'm going to do, more or less. Oh, and now I have no leverage. I need to stop. I need to... I need to hit back. Nope. I think I just lost, guys. Um... I've actually lost control of one of my muscle groups. This guy actually has a really good center of balance right now, unfortunately. I can't do anything about it. Alright, this is too crazy. I don't even know. I have no idea. Just changed all my muscle groupings. Randomly. Yep. And he got me. Yeah, not much to do there. I can't believe he dodged that kick. Look at that. Just somehow... And I bet he, he could have even landed on his foot. Alright, Wesser. Looks like red is always the winner and the blue is the contender. So yeah, Wesser, let's see what you got. I was kind of, I'm kind of impressed by your performance last match. Yeah, look at this. This looks actually kind of advanced. He clenched his butt. <laughs> and his legs are opposite. Like right there and right there. One of his, like, both of his ankles are popped. His knee is going forward. This was kind of advanced. I'm going to call it the butt clench. Oh, he's even got his back muscles done something. Did some kind of weird kick. Wow, this guy actually might know what he's doing. Now, can he now, Can he stick it? He's going to have to bring his legs back down and hopefully uh, grab with one of his hands to steady himself. Oh, okay. Looks like somebody... <laughs> looks like somebody just left. Weirdly. I do think it's a little bit weird that, like, you have these weird, uh, uh, th these cues of, like, okay, you have to watch, like, nine people play, you know, for the next 20 minutes or something. It just seems like if, if you wanted to, you could just, like, have a whole bunch of, uh, just, just do a whole bunch of back to back matches. That seems better. If you want this to be a competitive thing. Like, I mean, it's not like you can be... It's, it's not like... Oh, wow, look at that. It was not a very strong kick, all things considered. He got his shoulder, though. And now his shoulder's out of commission. I don't know what this blue guy is doing. I think he's, like, being the victim or something. Now can you recover, Red? Because I think you you touched down first. He's gonna have to bring one leg down or something, just like axe kick or something. Nope, he's he's gonna bring his he's gonna bring his arm down if he can accent just the right way. He'll be able to keep his balance for just long enough. I think that's what he's. I think this way he's trying to do. We got this. I think he's panicking. I don't think he knows what he's doing either. Oh wow! <laughs> I half hearted, half hearted bit of flailing and light touching, and then everyone fell over. That was the. <laughs> that was the story of this match.
Like, if he did some kind of, like, weird, like... And somehow... Wow, look at this. He was able to keep his balance for just long enough. And Blue just fell over. Wesser continues. So now it's me versus him again. Alright. So, let's... Butt clench. All right, I have no idea what that what we just did. Ugh, this guy has this guy knows how to kick. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh god, this is going to go horrendously. <laughs> oh, but I punched him in the fucking face. I will grab you now. And I'll punch you in the face again. If I can somehow get my legs to figure themselves out. Oh, 42,000. Unfortunately, he's got a lot of momentum on me unless I can somehow stop it. All right, and then I will bend my knees back. Uh, if I could just rotate a certain, oh no, I'm gonna touch out either way. <laughs> oh God, here we go. I think we're done. I think we're done. And that's it. Oh, just hit space, Red. You've already won. Just hit space. Well, maybe, maybe. This is. Oh, this could be. This could be kind of even. Oh, what happened? We we touched down the same time. Oh, that was that was quite the match, though. Well, the guest says, in early play, just being able to stand is the best way to go about things. As most early players, just flail until they fall over. Yeah. That's totally true. It's just, that's the weird thing about this, is that you end up having to, you end up having to basically, like, what I was saying earlier was, like, you have really no heuristics initially. And even when you do... Okay, it looks like Spolder Guy's got a server up. Even when you do, it's kind of weird in the sense of... Um, oh, let's see here. Room description. How do I, how do I search it? Oh shit, how do I search for rooms? Oh, and Toy Bash just completely crashed. One second, guys. I'll get back into it. Easily done, evidently. Um, how do I... Is the description of the server is that is Ludite Sam is what you're saying or it's by room? Nope, it crashed again. Oh, this is gonna be awkward if I if I have to crash like nine times on the way into this server. I don't know if I can find this. As I look over all these things. Um, help me out, Spoltergeist. Which column have I even looking into? Mm. Private 
Save for Joey. Okay, let's sort let's sort by players. Although I think that's what makes I think sorting is what makes it crash. Can you, do you have any idea what number server that it is? Yeah, sorting makes it crash for sure. That's awkward. Well, if you want to, you can watch this for a little bit. Let's see. Um, like, here's some of the stuff that people have pulled off with this game. Like, some of the more interesting sort of moves that they have done. Uh, if I could get rid of the... I can't get rid of the thing in the center. But you can kind of get the sense of... You kind of get the sense of it, though. So basically what we have here is Maya Poser with an objective for some reason. All right, um, I'm gonna assume that your server went down, smaller guy, so let's go ahead and make... Here we go. All right, password is gonna be Sam, guys. Max player is gonna be... Uh, who cares? Oh, I found it somehow. Hi, Smolder Geist. All right. So, um, what we'll do is we'll just... We'll butt clench. No, not like that. I'm just gonna go back. Oh, need. Except I think you just won 90,000 versus 2,000. Somehow. I'll undo the knee or something. Okay. And <laughs> we're just mashed up together. Oh, God. Unclench the butt. Let's twist around. Like this. <laughs> Clunk. <laughs> so here's Minnow25. Hello to you on the side here. <laughs> God, he just gets right up into me like that. Kapow. All right, so here's what we'll do. Here's what we're gonna do. Can I do... Like, it's just kind of weird to think about like how to do some of these moves. So a smaller guy says to uh, just turn down the, uh, or just pause the time so now we can just do whatever we want here. But uh, I don't know, like, to me it just seems like it would be better to sit around and just kind of experiment a little bit with the, on, you know, that, uh, that, that dummy that doesn't do anything. So that way you can basically figure out what muscle groups even do in the first place. Okay, so if I now go like this, reverse all my muscles, um, hmm, I'm not sure what, what that will do, 
at all. But we're gonna find out. I guess. That will send me off in that direction. That like that's left and right, weirdly. What about this? Okay, sure. And if I... No, not like that. How do I... See, I have it contracted for a punch, but like... Oh, it must come from this one. Or something. Need to bring the knee up like that. Or something. Oh, God. I just, good job, Spolter guys. I have no, I have no idea how this is gonna go for you. Oh, look at this! He's sprawled out, and like if he can get a kick off on me, oh god, that's gonna be devastating. Like I wish I could just turn my whole body. Like, but I understand how it happens. Like, I just, I had this really big punch lined up, and then I had no idea what to do about it. <laughs> he just, like, suspended himself. <laughs> like, this is a very funny game. For the most part. Oh, what just happened? Um, did we go to the... Oh, we... Weirdly, we are now in step two of the last place we were in, so... Okay, so... Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> this poor guy says, how did this happen? <laughs> No, I, like, it's kind of a funny game, but, like, ultimately what this is is basically just Maya Poser in real time that, like, for some reason has, like, a, you know, like, it's, it's themed after fighting, so, like, and then, you know, once once people got the idea of, like, oh, let's, let's have these people punch and kick each other, well, you know, then it kind of went from there. Okay. So... What if I... That's awkward. I'm grabbing him somehow. Sure. Like, I don't even understand how most of these muscles work. Like, I haven't really messed with them very much. And like a lot of, maybe some of these I shouldn't hold at all. Maybe I should just relax some of them and see what happens. I'm gonna kick him in the. I think I think I have a groin kick coming right right here. But then I think he wins or something. I don't know. We'll find out. Someone's either someone's ass is gonna. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Got him. And so now, what if I just do... What if I back these guys up? Uh, no, reverse them. Oh, then I got... Then I got, like, rolled over sideways. Uh, if I... A lot of this is just kind of, like, experimentation here. Oh, look at this. I think he's... I think he's still gonna be up. Outstanding. Let's play with the butt. No, oh, there's just nothing I can do. I think I think he's throwing me. Um, what? <laughs> so confused. He seems to like to keep all of his limbs basically straight.
Oh, well. So you're holding me up, and I'm holding you up in a weird kind of counterbalance situation. I'm afraid to do anything. Oh, look at this. I, I, I might actually be able to pick us back up. Watch this. I flip my uh, leg around. Let's get let's get back up. We'll do this again. <laughs> ah, but what is he planning? I'm a step from ground pound, says Satchmo. Satchmo. Aha! That looks kind of cool, though. Look at this. Huh. And then I just kind of like twisted myself into a pretzel. I just kind of stood on one leg for forever. <laughs> I don't know why we keep on going like right away into the into the last position that we were in. Like somehow we are now in the in the. So like this is like two games ago. This was the first, the first move. I have to grab and see what happens. If I twist myself around, yeah, we're not starting from the very very beginning. Weirdly. Oh, what the? <laughs> we just bounced off. <laughs> we just bounced off of each other. Jesus. And so now we're gonna go back to, to the second turn again. Maybe. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Alright, we are back to this. So. I think what we need to do. I'm gonna see if I can like wrap myself back around, but I don't know how I would do that. I need to like. See, most of it is just kind of experimentation and see just what happens. So that's the pelvic thrust muscle. This rotates the upper body. Oh, I wonder if I could get a punch that way. Here, let's do like so. Hook the elbow around. No, just, okay, that's fine. Oh, he stopped my punch immediately. So if I... Turn up like this. I'll just start grabbing you. Uh, we need to reverse that. Get some more momentum going back the other way. Yeah. So that's what says shoulder in. The problem is with the people giving me advice for like this. <laughs> Tory Tory Bash is notoriously bad for like advice giving in in Twitch because like by the time you see the advice it's already last turn so weirdly i think i might actually be able to bring my arm down like that i'll let go of that okay i can help that happen um yeah, let's do that. Let's go like so. Okay, so at this point, I don't have any momentum at all. Um, okay, leg back. Un undo the knee. I can kind of sort of maybe Yeah, 
I'll just let go with the knee entirely. Oh, wow, look at this. This is incredible. I'm about to lose. But, like, okay. Ugh. What can, what can I do here? I don't think this is going to happen. <laughs> All right. That was a really cool, a really cool move here. Now let's see here. <laughs> like, if the goal of the designers of this game... If, the, if their goal is to make things like ca make, make chaos and funny things happen, then like mission accomplished, you know, like because it's really really hard to predict anything that will happen, even if you kind of know what you're doing. I'll grab you like that, and then maybe... Oh, sure. I... Right now I'm just kind of in experimental mode. Oh, he's just, do... he's just doing nothing. So, what we're gonna have to do... Uh, we need another grab. Like, it's really interesting, but again, it comes down to essentially, like, I feel like this works better as a sandbox for the most part, which is what I think a lot, how a lot of people tend to treat this. Like, I wouldn't say that this lends itself well, very well to competitive play, uh, just because it's, like, I can't imagine that at high levels of play, even when you know how to do your muscle groupings, uh, it's hard to know what anyone's going to do, you know. So now I'm grabbing him like so. What if I give it even more power, maybe? Is that more power? Oh, that's gonna like me, make me step out. How awkward. Oh, look at this. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, man. This one guy said bad touch. <laughs> got your butt. It's like, it's like Dark Souls. We got a butt kill. And I'll touch down. Sasmo says this would be hilarious in real time. No, see, well, it would be impossible in real time. Like, you'd have to have buttons all over your keyboard in order to, to make it work. Like, the, like I appreciate that they made this turn-based. Because, like, I don't think it would have worked any other way. See, like, this is kind of cool. Like, I'm about to do, like, kind of a weird pile driver sort of thing, but, like... Oh, God! <laughs> this is this is gonna get out of hand quickly. Oh, man. <laughs> like, there's just... Like, not fish ears, you're totally right. The simultaneous reveal makes this game completely and utterly random. Like, there's just, like, the, the possibility space is just so infinite. And you have no reason to believe that anybody will do one thing over the other. So, like, 
basically your ranking in this game is more or less i think your ability to to know the muscle groupings in the first place and make things happen generally in your way but like it's not the kind of game where you can counter where you could do a little a counter play to your opponent it's kind of ha you just kind of end up in a weird situation and then whoever knows how to like balance himself out of that situation better than that is going to be able to win because uh, the, the other guy's just like oh no what am i like we're in this very strange situation what do i do and like it's you know it's very very strange to even think about it and that's the difficulty oh Yep, here we go. I think I win, though. I can't wait to see this happen back in... Uh... No, not like that. Yeah, I think there, I think there are no muscles that will actually uh, benefit either of us here. We're just... Everybody's in the air, so there's like... No, no one has any leverage at all. Like Satchmo, you say that it's, um, you, you say the turn based. Oh, what? What happened? Oh, he got a hand up! Oh, fuck you, Smoldergeist! <laughs> Just in the nick of time. I didn't even think that was possible. Part of it was like, I, I would have tried to do the same thing, perhaps, but like, I couldn't even find my hand, so I just. Oh, what? Okay, so now we're back to this, apparently. Sure? Yeah, I mean, like, the the, the, the turn-based thing is a good idea just for the sake of, like, being able to execute moves properly because, like, you have to do so many simultaneous things. Oh, man. Oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Smoldergeist? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh, uh, that's not going to happen. Let's try this. Unfortunately, I think he wins again. Wait, what if I switch uh switch these two? And if I could just... Uh... See, right now he's basically making like large patterns of arms and legs that kind of more or less suspend him in the air. Yeah, let's just go like this, see what happens. Can I uh, bend my torso up? Sort of? <laughs> I did give him a hug, Satchmo. <laughs> nope. It's already, it's, it's already done. <laughs> Hello, the intelligent peanut. Good to see you. <laughs> Weirdest damn strategies work in this game, and like, not even this, like, it's hard to even say that they're strategies because, like, you know, who the hell knows what any what either of us are doing at any given moment. All right. Oh, I have this interesting idea. What if we did this? What 
if we did this? Um... Oh, thank you for the follow up, the intelligent peanut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like I haven't messed around with the relaxation muscle muscle groupings yet. So if I just kind of let myself naturally fall down one way instead of just flexing all the time. If I actually take a leap, the other way, I will knee bash you. Grab with both arms. Wow, look at this. Oh, and Sasbo, give me a follow. Thank you, I appreciate that. Really what we're doing here, guys, is I'm doing what's called Games Done Friday, where I uh, play a game as a one-off and just kind of make commentary on its design about, like, you know, what it does well, what, what it doesn't do well, stuff like that. So far, what I'm finding about, uh, about Tori Bash is that, like, I, I feel like it's not really... Wow, what have you done, Smoldergeist? to unflex this knee immediately. Sort of. What I'm finding so far... Oh, well, I hope you do it. Whatever you're doing, Smolder Guys, I hope we do it, because this is going to be great. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god. What I'm finding is that it doesn't really seem like it, uh, it lends itself towards competition at all, and it seems more like a it seems more like a, you know, like a, like a poser toy, which I think has its, it definitely has its, uh, has its merits. So here's what we're going to do from now on. We're going to just randomly hit stuff and see what happens. Like, it's so difficult to learn how things work, though. It's funny you should say party game, Satchmo, because I, to I definitely just wrote a wrote an article on my game design blog about party games and what they, uh, what they ought to do. Oh, God, what have I done? But the thing is, I don't even know what I actually have done. I will grab you, or something. See, like, this is, like, I don't think that uh, a competitive game and a party game are necessarily, like, and now I think he just kind of spreads his legs out and catches, with, catches the floor with both legs. I don't think that a party game and a comp like I don't think that if uh, th something isn't competitive, it automatically makes it a party game because like party games are supposed to be social and uh, like I I always like to um, point out Resistance, uh, the board game, as an example of an awesome party game for many reasons. Uh, first of all, that uh, pursuing victory uh, produces the most fun situation socially for the group. And then on top of that, it also incorporates many people at once. Um, so like there's nobody sitting on the sidelines. Like this is like 1v1 games very rarely make good party games because that like th then you have to want two people going at it and then like, you know, oh no, like what do the rest of us do? I guess we just go snack for a while. And they just they just kind of don't participate. Like, I understand that, like, there are tournaments and whatnot for this game, and, like, I suppose you could if you wanted to, but, like, I, I, I strongly doubt that there's much going on there in the way of, like, counterplay, because it's just so impossible to predict what anyone else is going to do. Yeah, we'll just keep doing this, see what happens. Like, the, like the simultaneous reveal, it, like... There's so many different possibilities. How are you supposed to guess what will come out? And then, like, I'm I'm assuming that there's a great like 
a great deal of the match is already decided in the first like two turns or something and then like afterwards it's basically just you know okay well i guess we'll just let, let this play out for the most part oh i shouldn't have let go of those i don't think you're gonna land outside of the square I think I've finally taken one from you, Smoldergeist. Even though 42,000 points is pretty big. Like, what could he do from here? Like, I just, like, there's so many diff weird possibilities. Like, I just don't really have a way of being able to predict it, you know? Uh, being able to, uh, a com like, in, in, a, in a good competitive game, you should be able to see what your opponent is, like, uh, is doing, predict what where that will go. Oh, man. And butt down. Yep. <laughs> I like the leg phasing through the arm, says Smoldergeist. It is kind of strange. Well, see, here's the thing, uh, Intelligent Peanut. No games are actually about fighting. Um... Because, like, uh, the the only the only game that is about fighting is like a literal fist fight. Um, everything else is like the like fighting in Street Fighter is just like the metaphor that makes the game work. Um, but what Street Fighter is actually about is predicting uh, like what your opponent will do, given a, given a limited possibility space, and then executing the counter play to that. You know, just because there is, like, punching and kicking in it doesn't necessarily mean that, like, it's about fighting. Because you can make a you can make the exact same game as Street Fighter. Oh, now this has happened again. We're, we're bugged out with the turn one nonsense. Uh, we're going to have to just go like that. And can I get myself back up? <laughs> what have you done, Spoldergeist? But yeah, you could make this exact same game as Street Fighter, just themed a different way, and it would be a, like the, the same skills would be at play in said game. Can I maybe do, like, some kind of a... Sure. And now I want... Actually, this is going to be interesting. So if I pull myself back into him... Oh, I think we're, gonna, I think we're about to, like, head bash each other. go what i'm saying brand bcg is that like a game where you like like saying that a fighting game is about fighting is like saying that uh that playing lone star in um that, that playing lone star in awesome knots is about shooting gun is, is a game about shooting guns like that's just not really what it is like the the game of uh, the, the game of of uh, what's it called? Uh, of awesome knots and most Dota likes, in fact, are game are games about space control. You know, like you you, you basically put threaten certain areas and attempt to convince other players that you in fact do not uh, that you do in fact do not threaten those areas, so that they actually go into those threatened areas on their own, and that way you can p punish them for having done so. So it's a so. Like, the games are never really about the metaphors that behind them. They're more about, like, the actions that you take that lead towards victory. It's more about, it's about the strategy more than it is about the actual literal metaphor that's occurring in the game. Wait, what you got, Spoldergeist? Although, I think he's in a really super good position.
That was really interesting though. Check that out. Pow. I just kind of like... <laughs> that was really interesting. So now I'm a yellow belt, guys. Very cool. So when you say that this game is about adaptation, the intelligent peanut, the natural fighting, um, initially, I feel like this game is more or less about guessing. Yeah, let's, let's do the let's do the pelvic thrust muscle. And we'll just cook that all the way in. Hmm. I have no idea how this is going to go. Like, I just cannot predict it at all. Like, I'm not saying that there is no skill to this game, but, like, I, I don't think that the skill of this game lends itself to, uh, um, to, um, to counterplay. So, like, once, you, once you've decided to do something, like, it kind of becomes a game of mutual solitaire to see who can come up with, like, you know, the best way to... Uh, the, the best way out of whatever situation more or less randomly shows up. At least that's that's what the initial phases of this game seem to be like. It's a lot like Go, how like the um, the uh, the early strategies are just completely irrelevant to the uh, the eventual strategies that emerge. Like basically, people just like start moving pieces and like see and just see what happens, and then eventually someone's just like, "Oh shit! Well, let's deal with this situation that has that has occurred, not really out of anyone's strategic experience." but really just uh, people more or less guessing. That's basically what's going on here. So there you have it. Tori Bash is a game like Go. <laughs> Which maybe isn't the worst thing in the world. It's just very, like, but what's interesting about Go is that at least in Go, like, um, like you don't feel like you're flailing as much <laughs> like this really br like it's, it's interesting because like what's funny about this game is it, it kind of brings out like the really difficult part about go um oh wow i've been completely taken off of my balance here well here's what we'll have to do about that um i don't even know where my hand is where's my hand but it takes the uh um, the inherently difficult part about starting out and playing Go and really portrays it in a really wacky manner. Like, this is actually a lot, has a lot of, a lot of similarities in that way. Um, God, I don't know if this is going to work out. Oh, do I touch? Do I touch? I think I do. Yep, god damn it. But yeah, I don't, as I'm as I'm kind of more or less refining like what I'm saying about this, I think that uh, the mutual solitary thing really does apply where like you know, people just kind of make a couple moves that seem as though um, seem as though they make an ounce of sense, but like you really you can't really tell what will come of any of them at first. And that situation comes out that like no one really could have predicted, and they just, just kind of try to find a way out of it. And there's really not many winning moves at a certain point. Oh, 
Um, no, I want both of those like so. No, this sucks. Um, I hope what I can do... No, this isn't going to work out at all, is it? Oh, it might. It actually might. See, basically, right, right now, I, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of experimenting and seeing what all my different moves have. And I look, I find something that looks more or less good and just kind of see what happens. Now can I unbend my legs? Am I grabbing anything? Have I grabbed anything? Yes, I am grabbing something. Um, let me rotate around a different way. Oh, there we go. This is going to be the weirdest goddamn thing I've ever seen. At the same time, I'm kind of eager to see it. Um, let's see here. See, at this point, I feel like what's going to happen is like we're not going to be able to really do anything to each other. That looks dumb. But yeah, not Fisher and Satchmo, I think you're mutually ar arriving upon the problems with the with simultaneous reveal is that like you you know you're you're guessing what will happen, but like in an, in such an infinite possibility space, you have really no concept of what could happen. I mean, you you know what could happen, but you have no concept of what will realistically happen unless the possibility space is small enough to be comprehensible in the first place. I'm not saying that like you can't improve at the game, but there comes a point where there's just like a lot of inherent randomness that are just that's that's happening. All right, so now I need to I mean, this is this is a really in, this is going to be a really interesting match right here. If I tw uh, no, I do want to twist you. Yeah, who knows what's going to happen here. Like he could he could come up with something that will beat me, but like I don't know what that would be. I don't know what he, I don't know what he could do to beat me. So I certainly can't pre I, I certainly can't predict it and plan for it. So basically what I'm doing my heuristic right now is to... Oh, shit. I think he did it. How did he do that? Well, that's just amusing, so we're going to go with it. Oh, what happened? How did I win? Oh, his knee hit! His knee touched! Barely! He had me on the ropes! See, what I think... Oh, it's now suddenly you're green? Oh, okay, never mind, there's another dude. Okay. Suddenly we have a whole bunch more people in here. Okay, that's cool. Okay, just like this. See, this guy actually knows like a few muscle grouping things that he could do, and I certainly don't. So, 
This is gonna be tricky. Or apparently, I don't know. See, like I very, he very well could have done something very cool. Like look at look at the arc that his leg went in. That was clearly a. I, I've never even seen a wind arc like that, which means that like what he just did was clearly some sort of uh, thing that he knows how to do, and like I basically just countered them randomly. Like I, I have no idea what I, uh, I, I never saw it coming, and I didn't know. I don't know how I could have countered it in the first place, so I just did that. No, that's bad. What if I go like this? Maybe I didn't counter it quite so much. All right, I would I would like to stand now. I think I can. And I'll twist these back inward. No, that's not going to happen. Um, let's clench my butt. When in doubt, clench your butt. Um, I don't know. This is going to be really weird. I think he's pulling on me uh, too too hard. <laughs> oh my god. Tell you what, let's just uh, relax all muscles. Or actually just like, maybe I can outlast him. I think I can outlast him. No, I don't think I can. Reverse clench butt. Oh, that was awful. Um... Oh, this is going to be really close. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> I might get another kick in. I can't wait to see this in the replay. But I think he might have won there. Unless I can... There. I'll un undo the legs. All right, sure. Oh, he got me in the side, though. Look at this. A pair of pros, except I'm not one, so... Oh, but I think I have all, I have all the leverage right now. Oh, what? How did you win? Oh, we ran out of time! I was about to win, too. Incredible. But yeah, so, like, I mean, you know, like, I don't... It looked kind of cool, what was happening right there, but, like, damn if I, if I planned for any of it. See, to me, I feel like what they did here was, like, they made a fighting game about the actual, like, muscle groupings, you know, and stuff like that. Like, it, this is in many ways, like, a fighting game more about of more about fighting than anything, except, like, it's almost like you're learning how to fight by learning how to move your muscles in the first place, which is very strange to think about. So if you want to talk about, you know, what games are actually about, you know, then 
th you know, th this is probably the, the closest thing about fighting, or the closest thing to fighting in the first place. But I can see, I can already see that there's a lot of knowledge that, like, you just need to have of, like, just how, how do you move the, like, in a way, it's kind of like, um, abstracting strategy out to its very, very, like, tiniest fundamentals to the point where, like, it's almost as though you had to play StarCraft, but you had to somehow move all the like you had to like somehow ab you abstracted playing starcraft out to like learning how the mouse worked like essentially now now you're doing a hoedown or something like that catch yourself smolder guys see if you can <laughs> look at this it's but it, it's it's kind of like if all the different motions that uh uh that happened to actually control what you were doing were part of the game as well. Like you also had to, like you couldn't just click on things, you had to like click on somebody else to click on, you had to like design the, how do I, I'm having so much difficulty wording this because there are so few games like this. But it's almost as though you had to like come up with the mouse movements that put you in the situ, that, that made you, to, like you had to program someone else to make the mouse movements to play StarCraft is basically how I would put it in. Like, it's an interesting problem in a lot of ways. Orniac asked, the Dark Souls 2 day that you were removing, oh, we'll replace it. Um, I'm thinking about that. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm going to remove Dark Souls entirely. Um, it may just be one day that I uh, remove, because, like, I've actually been doing a little bit of Dark Souls... Uh, I, I've actually been doing a lot of Dark Souls 2 offline, doing some of the single-player stuff, that like the non-co-op stuff that, like, is just not very, not really all that interesting. Let's do... I don't know. Like right now I'm just gonna experiment to see what'll happen. Yeah, look how look how controlled he is. <laughs> look how awkward I am. Like, you know, I think it I think my instinct about this being very much like Go is right on, where like basically what you have to do is you have to be told like what moves do what before you actually get to start playing for real. And here comes the needle growing. Oh wow, look at that. Um like there's a lot of like basically studying that you have to do in order for this game to actually take off. I'm about to do something really whacked out. <laughs> if only there was a chin underneath my foot, or right above my foot. That would be the coolest. See, what I have seen people do is, like, I've seen people do, like, parkour kind of, um, kind of moves. <laughs> Let's see here. Which sounds, which seems a lot more interesting to me, of just like, does like playing in pure sandbox mode, of, you know, just like like figuring out like how to. Okay, now watch this. <laughs> oh, why? I thought I had it for sure. 
I was trying to. I was, maybe that maybe that didn't work out. Okay, so it looks like uh, looks like Legend Jacob is going to uh, is going to demonstrate some cool things for us. So we can watch him. So yeah, the. Uh, I think that this game lends itself more towards um, like coming up with cool animations of people doing really awesome moves. Like, like it's, it's like in the title screen where you watched people doing all sorts of really crazy, um, uh, all sorts of crazy like uh, man maneuvers and like doing sorts of all sorts of like flips and like coming up with a, a way to like you can like basically do this like these punches and kicks that eventually let you land on your feet in a way that you would basically never be able to do um when, when you were start first starting out because like you're just you're just trying to figure out like how in the hell to actually stay on your feet like it would never work out <laughs> like in a lot of ways you don't really appreciate necessarily the strategy that went into what uh, what was going in or what was going on because the strategy is so is largely undetectable um in a lot of different ways But rather, you kind of appreciate the gracefulness and fluidity of like the things that he has figured out how to do. That's why I think that this game seems like it would lend itself more towards a uh, more towards like sandbox, like you know, just straight up poser kind of stuff. Oh, let, and Jacob just told me to do something, and like I actually had already moved. Okay, sorry, Jacob. He's, he's trying to teach me how to do things, and like I should probably pay attention to what he's saying in the chat down there. No, see, I've I've already moved. Jacob, so unfortunately, like all of your probably very sound advice is going to waste at this point. Sorry. God damn it! He's typing out all these directions to me. And I'm making my moves without him. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Alright, I'll wait this time. This is very, very strange. Oh, look at that. He somehow dodged my arms. Of course, I actually, like, had rotated myself around a little bit. 
Okay, let's see what he, what he has to say now. Because, like, what I would do is I would try to plant my... Like, it seems like I could probably, like, bring my both my arms down somehow. But I don't know how to do that. Oh, maybe like that, actually. Oh, that would be shoulder muscles. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Let's, um... Let's bring that back. Oh, no, don't. Oh, God damn it. There we go. That's what I want. Oh, I missed him entirely. Son of a bitch. All right. If I can. Oh, nope, that's not going to happen. Yeah, this is very quap like in in some ways. Um My center of balance is awful right now. And he's just going to cartwheel away or something like that. Look at this guy go. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Maybe I can just like rotate back around this way. <laughs> and just kind of flail to the ground. What are my arms even doing? See, I'm just curious what uh, what you're doing over here. He's basically just doing like cartwheels and shit like that. Release your hands when you. <laughs> oh, I've grabbed myself. <laughs> that makes sense. Sort of. Only one of my hands will ungrab though. Oh, Smolder Guy says that uh, Jacob doesn't know about the stream. Did it, how, how did he get in here? He, there, was this not password protected or something like that? Yeah, it kind of was a crotch grab there, Brian BCG, not going to lie. So all the stuff that uh, all, all the stuff that uh, Jacob was saying earlier, and that, you know what was kind of funny is like I was talking to Jacob as though he were on the uh, on the stream, so that explains quite a bit actually. Like I think that this is a very very cool simulator in in, in a lot of ways. Like it's it's basically Maya Poser. Is is that a thing Maya Poser or is that uh or is it just Poser? I don't remember what that software was. I never really worked with it. But like you base it's basically just like Poser only like, you know, a f kind of a free to play Poser. Oh, look at that. What has happened here? They just knee bashed each other. Oh, I think they're both doing identical things. Except he's planted his foot a lot better right here. Whereas this is... He's going to have to like extend himself to catch himself a little bit. Brian BCG asked if you can Michael Jackson it up. I'm sure you can! See, that's what I think. That's where I think the real value of something like this would be. It's just like... It's just kind of a, a poser toy. Just like, come up with some kind of weird dance. You know, stuff like that. I think it'd be hilarious. Put, put it up on YouTube. You know, stuff like that.
Wow, where did all these people come from suddenly? So now we have in leaf and tactical op. But yeah, this is the kind of thing that like I'm not sure that you could learn to do very well on your own. Like it it would take a lot of work to try to learn how to do any of this stuff. I think I think you would be better served trying to find a guide online that tells you, okay, so this is how this move works. Try this, you know, and then like basically be guided through a lot of the early like awkwardness, I suppose. But when it comes to when it comes to competitive games, it's important for a game to actually have a. Uh, um, oh man, he's been totally thrown here. It's important for a game to have um, early game heuristics that, like, make you feel like, okay, I, th I really do think I should do this, as opposed to just, like, this big blank slate of, like, what, like, you know, there's, like, a million possible things you could do, and what the hell should you even try? And most of those things are bad, you know, that sort of thing. Like, there's many, 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 many bad moves that you can make in this game, and comparatively fewer good ones, and you kind of have to be told what those good moves are, is kind of the, uh, the reason why the heuristics of this game are really, really challenging to beginners. Well, it's just gonna try to s spread out to the ground, but like I think Smolder Guys is too far over. And see, here's this guy. This kind of um, this kind of does what uh, uh, or demonstrates what Not Fisher was saying earlier. Uh, J Jacob just put it in chat, like, oh wow, look at that. Maybe he maybe he didn't put in the solution. Somehow he got his foot deflected. And ended up being the first one out of the square. So we have a green belt versus a white belt. Good luck, Smold. Satchmo says if they started with boxing matches, we only have the upper torso would help the learning curve. See, that's the. Th it's funny that you should say that because Brian BCG was saying how like in real fights, kicks are like the worst possible thing that you could do because you end up with so off balance. But like they're the most obvious thing to do in this game because they make the most sense in like how to actually execute them. Punches seem really really difficult i'm imagining that you need to like every single muscle from like here down to there even like all six of those need to be just so in like both a contracting and an extending uh maneuver and so like figuring out how to punch is much harder than figuring out how to kick What's funny is Jacob is telling uh, telling us to relax all the muscles, where like, which the uh, um, the tutorial basically tells tells you to do the opposite, where it's like tense all the muscles and then do this, and so like that's actually what I've been doing this entire time is tensing all muscles all the time. Like it's hard to imagine like what's going on when you punch. Like you don't even think about it anymore if you're like punching real life. All the different muscle groupings.